Hey guys, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. We just got done getting rescued by Flemeth here. I've changed up Morgan's clothes because she's got better robes on now and a better weapon. Um, and yeah, I also used the tome on her, so now she knows how to heal. And she's now on auto leveling, so yay. That's always helpful. So now we're going to go exit to the Kokari Wilds and make our way to our next destination. Which I believe is Lothering. Yep, to Lothering. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Ooh. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you. The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Van Tegen, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Van Tegen, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? Oh, here we go. Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess the pretty one is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like them others. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. <clears throat> Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. <laughs> you should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still gotta pay. Uh, you're toll collectors, then. Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You're fixing the highway? I think not. Not much gets past you, I see. It's not really a toll. We're just robbing you, see? Do shut up. Even a Genlock would have understood that. Forget it. I'm not paying. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. <laughs> Those are the rules. Do you really want to fight a Grey Warden? Did she say she's a Grey Warden? Them <coughs> ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn low game put quite a bounty on any who are found. But aren't them Grey Wardens good? I mean, <coughs> really good. Good enough to kill a king. You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your dart spawn fighting, king killing ways.
<laughs> Actually, let's add bandit slang to that list. And just when we had things settled. We surrender. We're, we're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Uh huh. Get by? You're a criminal. Yes, I'm a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. Hmm. I want some questions answered. Well, what could I tell you? We aren't even from these parts. What news have you heard? Everyone's saying how the Grey Wardens betrayed the King during the Darkspawn fight. Got him and themselves killed. Turn Logain pulled out just in time. First thing he's doing as Regent is putting a bounty on Grey Wardens. Heard about any other survivors from the battle? Couple, maybe. A group of wounded Ash Warriors came by earlier. Got right out of their way. <laughs> What's going on in Lothering? It's packed full. The band took his men north with Tear and Loghain, so there's no one looking out for it except a few Templars at the Chantry. Well, I was just trying to feed my family, you know? Right. What exactly have you been doing? Well, watching for folks fleeing from the south. Chasing from the wilds and farmholders, mostly. There aren't soldiers here anymore, so we help ourselves. We try not to hurt anyone too much. Done asking questions. Well, then let me go! Hmm. Start running and don't come back. Bless you! The Darkspawn can have this place! Run. Oh. Lots of trap triggers. Nice. Let's go into Lothering. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah. So you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. You have been very quiet, Alistair. Yes, I know. I was just thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. <laughs> oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. <laughs> anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. I need to look for Fergus. He might still be alive. You know, my brother. He was out scouting in the wilds, wasn't he? That's what the king said. Uh... Then attempting to look for him there would be foolish. He is either dead or he managed to flee to the north. Very sensitive. I am simply saying that it is foolish to mount a rescue when you have no notion where this man is and the wilds are overrun with darkspawn. True. You will either find him somewhere outside the wilds with other survivors or not at all. Hmm. We should try and use these treaties, I assume. I agree. Have you looked at them? No, not yet. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Then we need to find these people. 
Oh wait, no, hang on. Is there a way to contact the Rigged Warden? Somewhere? Short of leaving Ferelden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. Mm. Uh, why are you leaving this up to me? Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Arleman is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. All right, then we should find these people. I can give you directions if you like. Where do we find our Lehman? He'll be at the castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. Okay, and where will we find the Dale Shelves? If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. Where do we find the dwarves? We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. And where do we find the Circle of Magi? That would be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. And where would Loghain be exactly? If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. <laughs> I don't need any more directions. Then you have a plan. I'm ready to get going. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. All right. So, let's go this way. Hello. You don't look like the other folk fleeing the south. Were you in the battle? Just traveling through. Good. No room here for any more outsiders. I have some questions. Can't promise I'm going to answer them. Were those bandits always outside the village? Were? You mean they're gone? Yes, I drove them off. Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. <laughs> Sir Brian's would be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. What's going on here? What isn't? We've got chastened barbarians in every farmholder south of Kalenhard running from the Darkspawn. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. Hmm. Who's in charge of this village? You could talk to the Elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. You don't have a ruling lord? He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. There's not going to be much left when he returns, if he returns. Fun. I should go. Don't let me stop you. Yay! You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. Okay. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Ugh. What do you mean? We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'll be better off elsewhere, my friend. Mmm. Thanks for the warning. Best of luck, wherever you might go. Ah, look how they moan and wail and gnash their teeth. It is sad to watch how helplessly they scurry about. It's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn horde. <laughs> Finner, do you see anything? <laughs> Oh, I didn't find anything. Okay. Oh, and that is for Ogren. I found more. I'm cold. I don't like this. Uh oh. Have you seen my mother? You poor thing. Did you and your mother get separated? Some mean men with swords came. A mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, 
But I've been waiting and waiting and I can't see her. Uh oh. Do you know where your father is? He went with William to the neighbours yesterday, but he didn't come back. Come with me, I'll help you look for your mother. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. Here, take this silver, buy something to eat. A whole silver! Wow, thank you. You're a really nice lady. Kind of like mother. I should go look for her. Uh... Yeah, we no longer have a silver, but that's alright. We got elf fruit. Hey, hey. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? So let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, <laughs> isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? much more interesting for you perhaps you would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting you know what's more interesting than that apostates mages outside of the tower that's illegal you know you did not read that in a book somewhere did you i hope the small letters did not strain you over much oh we could not talk about your mother that works for me <laughs> these two kill me their banter is freaking hilarious. Oh, this is a quest. Hi. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. I'm quite familiar with traps and the like. I would happily pay you to make some. There's wood and nails and other goods around the village in the forest. But you probably already know that. Sorry. Come back if you make some. I have the traps for you. Oh, what a relief. Thank you, stranger. Yep. Traps are a girl's best friend. I got 50 silver out of that. Hey, hey. I'm gonna have a whole lot more once I'm done with this. Alright, let's see what you have over here. More stuff for me to sell. Ah. Okay. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> Actually, I was more hoping I could help you. Don't need blades right now. We need beds, food, and an end to all these sad sots. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. I know a bit about herbalism. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travelers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Okay, so more than just plants. Less there are health poultices for injured refugees. Three of these should suffice. I think I have, yep, I have plenty of those. So, I'll just talk to her again. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? I didn't need them. Here you go. This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. There we go. So I got 50 silver from that, so we got a whole gold. Isn't that awesome? Alright, let's go in here. We'll go over here. How dare you accuse me of thievery? I saw you take the supplies from my car. Your grassland eyes are inept. A chase end would never stoop to petty theft. You marsh folk are all thieves and liars. Enough! People here are already desperate and frightened. They don't need you two coming to blows. But what about my food? I said enough! <laughs> all right. Chase end. Uh oh. Oh, hello. Shokke basit isra. Marade starit. Marade twasit. Abana kyun, maras shokra, ananesam kyun. You aren't one of my captors. 
I will not amuse you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. You're a prisoner? Who put you here? I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. Heard Kunari called the warmongers of the north. We are called a lot of things. What's your point? Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. Not to put too fine a point on it, but Kunari are renowned warriors. If we could release him, perhaps he might help us. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. <laughs> yes, that's what I would have expected. <laughs> I suggest you leave me to my fate. I find myself in need of skilled help. No doubt. What help do you seek? I'm sworn to defend the land against the Blight. The Blight? Are you a Grey Warden, then? Yes, I am. Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Would the revered mother let you free? Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance. It seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Hmm. I'll leave you for now. Farewell then. Eaten alive by Darkspawn. That's cruel. I wonder why the revered mother's so afraid of him. A penitent man left to be torn to pieces by Darkspawn. Tis a fine example of the Chantry's mercy, is it not? <laughs> Alright. So we've got the Canary prisoner. Let's go take a look into the tavern. How is it that Terran no gain survived when even the Grey Wardens didn't make it out of that place down south? I heard he saw just in time what those Grey Wardens were doing and saved his men. He's a hero, that's what he is. Too bad. Well, look what we have here then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a woman by this very description, and everyone said they hadn't seen her? It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Let's talk about this before things get out of hand. I doubt he would listen. He blindly follows his master's commands. I am not the blind one. I served at Ostagar, where the turn saved us from the Grey Warden's treachery. I serve him gladly. Enough talk! Take the Warden into custody. Kill the sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Right. Let's make this quick. Uh... <laughs> Oh, I just got blinded. Love it. Alright, you've won. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. The Grey Wards didn't betray King Galen. Logan did. I was there. The turn pulled us out of a trap. Take a message to Loghain. What do you want to tell him? The Grey Wardens know what really happened. I'll tell him right away. Now, thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. And who are you, idiot? Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. 
I'm Catherine. A pleasure. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. <laughs> uh... Why so eager to come with me? The Maker told me to. Can you elaborate? I... I know that sounds absolutely insane, but it's true. I had a dream. A vision. More crazy? I thought we were all full up. Look at the people here. <laughs> they are lost in their despair, and this darkness, this chaos, will spread. The Maker doesn't want this. What you do, what you are meant to do, is the Maker's work. Let me help. Very well. I'll not turn away help when it is offered. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Last and damnation, indeed. I'm actually going to take her for a moment in this town. We'll need her help. See if the doggo sees anything. He does not. Okay. Hi. Hear about food. Take it up with that blade and run by the chantry. I got other gear to sell. Know of any well paying work in Lothering? Check the chantry's board by the chantry. There's good jobs, huh? Um, <clears throat> no. Don't suppose you know anything about, uh, poison? I have dabbled in such things. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. See what I can do. Thanks. I might have some ingredients in stock. Don't really know what you need. Show me what you got. He probably does. If he has any... I'm gonna go ahead and buy these recipes. There we go. Hmm. I need that. I'll go ahead and buy this. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the gifts. Now, do I want. I want that. To give to the doggo. Okay, now he has a lot of elf fruit that I can buy. So, go ahead and buy that. Buy some flasks so I have those. Thorn of the Dead Gods. Oh, that's for. Okay. That would be for Morgan. Poisonous proposition. So he needs three flasks of venom. And I think I've only got one. Yes, so I have to make more venom. And there's no toxin extract. Okay, so I need toxin extract. I'll be able to get some of those. Just gotta remember to give it back to this guy in here. Uh, let's go ahead and equip yes. her with some stuff. Seeker circle. Oh. But she's not a seeker. Now she is a archer, so she's gonna need that. <laughs> right off the bat, and I'm gonna give her fire arrows. Okay. And now we play the game of giving her 
clothing, cause yeah. So that's a good one to have on for her. That one's restriction to Liliana, though. Ooh. I want that on. And... yes. Oh, he's got the same look of us. It's just a grayer. What is Alistair's? A Warden's Oath? Okay. Then those will be good for him. I'll hold on to those gifts for now. So uh, there's a lot of stuff that I need to sell. stuff we'll need to sell. But, we've gotten pretty far on that one. Now we've got Liliana in our group. We've got to figure out what's with that man in the cage. That'll be interesting. And continue to look around the town, see if there's any other quests that we can do before we move on. But that'll do it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you're enjoying the content, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I try to reply to all the comments as I get them. And yeah, until next time, remember, to the world you may be one person, but to one person maybe the world. Laters.